What's up? I'm Philippe Leblanc. I'm from Montreal, based in Los Angeles. Well, this is my home actually. So now I'm living in Squamish right now. Happiness on wheels. <laughs> I've been traveling for 12 years as a model, living in a suitcase. Just before turning 30, I decided to make myself a gift, so I bought the van. I did a trip from LA to Vancouver by every national park, and I came back driving by the coast. A month road trip, came back in LA fully addicted of the freedom of the van life, starting my third year living in it. Now I'm in Canada, falling in love with my own country. My van is my bedroom and the world is my living room. What is it that you really need in life? Like food, water, and a bed at night, right? Voila! <laughs> I build my van as a weekend van and I end up living in it. The only thing I can say is put electricity first thing first. Solar panel with a second battery because I cannot charge my computer or my drone. That's the only thing I'll say and also because it was a weekend van, it's a cooler in it. So solar panel, extra battery, a real fridge, not a cooler, because I have to change ice every three days. So that's a downside. Rolling! <laughs> All right, my little van. It's a Ford E350 Super Duty 2011, 93,000 miles. I haven't been in the garage yet, since I have three years. I did some modification. <laughs> this grill bumper were uh, uh, chrome and it looked really bad. So I went to see a guy, he charged me for 400 bucks, I think, to paint it. And he said, the only thing with that little grill is plastic, so it's gonna chip. So I decided to go to a store by myself, the little spray can, black mat. <laughs> Looks okay. <laughs> Looks better though. Uh, change the tire. It's sadly not a 4x4. I got stuck a couple times, but it's part of van life. It's fun. Like as soon as you get out of your comfort zone, that's where adventures start. And when you get stuck, it's... You have a little like 0.5 second of fuck. But then you're like, okay, what to do, what to do. So it's like, no problem, only solution. What I said before. And that's where the fun starts. So... $16,000 to convert, US, to convert 4x4, so I'm not gonna do it. I wanted to have the roof rack with, for everything that I cannot fit in the van, so I have a picnic table, a crash pad, a kayak, and my soft top, uh, it's a surfboard, eight feet, off-road lights. You should definitely, if you have a van, put off-road lights. You need those, I think, because sometimes when you reach uh, off-road places, not off-road, but like just a road like here at night, it gets pretty dark and just for deers, like safety. So that shower, that's pretty cool. It's a small uh, five gallon bag. It heats up with the sun. So like two, three hours, the water reach a really hot temperature to take a shower. Otherwise it's good. It's rinse or do my dishes or extra water. You see, not fancy, man. <laughs> All right, welcome in. Swivel seat, I change the base of both seats and it gives you so much space. Because usually if it's the regular side, the back comes here so you have what, like two feet of living area? By flipping it, it's my everything. I eat, I, on my computer, I, you do everything here it, and it makes it so much bigger. Again, I'm not fancy, I just have those jar of water. That's it. And every campground, well, usually every campground have a spot where you can fill up your bottle. So even if you stay or not stay, just go fill up your bottle. Same as the shower bag. Actually, as soon as you see water, you have to fill up your bottle, yeah. Because sometimes you cannot run out of water. That's important. My cooler, I mean, I'm okay with it, but if you start a new van, that's why I'm saying like, put electricity because 
you got left. Yeah, ice. Uh, I have all my pan. I don't know if I can show you. Oh yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> so all my pan for cooking. I also have a wok. That is a bit fancy. <laughs> but anyway, and then that's probably a mess. Yeah. So let's not go there. <laughs> but that it's all my plates, my dry food a bag for dirty clothes. You don't know where to put it. You need to have a specific place so it's not gonna be all over the place. That's pretty practical. Little two burner stove, propane. That's all I need. Oh, and what I like about that one, I see some people that put in like the Volkswagen, it's inside, it's stuck on the con in the counter. But what I like about the portable one, it's as soon as I'm somewhere I can cook outside, I'm, I, I cook outside because it doesn't smell and you have more room. You can like use a table, a picnic table or whatever. So portable stove, it's, I like it. If I, if I build another van, I will put a portable stove again. Bed is a memory foam, really comfortable. Like it was $600 US. You cannot go cheap on the bed. It's really important. It's waking up like uh, sore or waking up fresh. Come on, is it a three inch? And I have an inch and a half of feather on top. So it is like a cloud. It's really good. Recommended, highly recommended. I also build my bed. I build it so it can be two little couch with a table and I never used it. It's probably gonna be good to resell the van, but I live outside. I just need a bed to sleep. So when you do long time van life, you learn like different things like that, the bed. Even if it's five minutes, sometimes you think five minutes is okay, but day after day after day after day, nope, don't do it. It has to be as easy as possible. Just have a regular closet, no door, nothing, no rope. If my clothes fell off the closet, it just means that I'm driving uh, too crazy. My closet teach me to take my time. <laughs> driving don't rush and surfboard just with elastic my two surfboard are stuck into the window they like barely like it's barely eight inch that i lose in my van all my gear under the bed lift lift up your bed from the ground and storage you need storage so everything under the bed what else uh that sign that i found uh forgot where oregon the best thing in life are not things. <laughs> Don't be too serious. Normal is boring. Oh, it goes like all the way to the other side. So I have access both sides. I have my wetsuits. When they're wet, I lock them with a chain on the ladder. Yep. Don't forget to lock it though. I chain uh, for winter when I go snowboard. I have all my camping gear, my chairs, my hatchet. I have dry bag. That's important. If you want to go hike through rivers or just a day at the beach, I have a tent that I just bought. So happy about it. I just came back uh, this morning from my second backpacking trip in my life. I'm addicted. I'm fully addicted now. I have my super flop fluffy ultralight sleeping bag, my ultralight tent, my backpack behind my surf. My van comes with the beepers when you back up. So if you don't have that, um, at least put a camera on top. These things are quite big, so you need something. You need a rear view. Other than that, you just need gas and hit the road. When you live in a van, every single tiny spot you can find to more storage you find like this <laughs> I never heard any teacher in school telling me how to live life it's only like follow the rules which I'm not good at that <laughs> this is the best life lesson, living in a van, connecting with nature and yourself. I learned so much about myself since I'm in the van. But what do I really need? What do I want? Where I want to go? What I want to do? Like everything, it's special. There's no problem, there's only solutions. Because before the van, I kind of had that 
Beverly Hills type of life. I wasn't happy, so I decided to leave. And that was like from a really, really big house to this. And I'm a thousand times more happy. It's like Bob Marley or Dalai Lama. If you ask them, are you rich? It's like, what kind of rich? Van life makes you millionaire, life-wise. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, my advice. Do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you like it. Yeah, and up, follow Philip on Instagram and YouTube. It's all linked up in the description down below. And have a blessed day. Yeah. Ciao. Ha <laughs> ha.